I am here today with Adam French of the Heartland Group, representing our ASB. Where are you? Portland, Oregon. Wow. Okay. I'm on the East Coast and you're on the West Coast and there's everything in between. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you, have you been out there? Well, so let's see. I've been with ASB for just a little over a year. Actually, my start, my official start date, I think, was October 1st of 2021. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I've been in insurance for like 12 and a half years or so. Started in 2010 in insurance. Okay. So. okay. And what was your position prior to jumping into insurance? I graduated from college. I couldn't find a job. I was living at home with my parents. Couldn't even afford to put gas in my car. So I needed a job. So I was just kind of desperate to try anything. And I didn't know that I would like it so much and be so successful in it. That's cool. Thankful, I guess you are for your parents who endured all of that. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. It was a kind of a rough beginning. I think this, this industry is pretty challenging to begin with especially if you don't have any experience in it. There's a lot to learn. And I um, definitely had a steep learning curve when I was new. So God, God bless my parents. <laughs> yeah. What's the best thing, Adam, about being an insurance agent affiliated with Heartland, ASB, and the Integrity Organization? I'll answer the first part of the question first, which is just insurance in general. I think it's a pretty unique opportunity in that it's one of the few careers that I know of where you get to make a lot of money and help a lot of people. So there's many jobs that offer you neither. So suppose your main goal in life was just to make a whole bunch of money, let's say, and that's all you cared about. Well, you could do that. There's a lot of jobs that'll offer you a lot of money. I mean, you could go be some big wig attorney. You could sell cars. You could start your own business doing whatever. I mean, there's a lot of ways to make money in this world, but you're not really making a difference or, or putting anybody in a lot of those. Suppose the opposite. What if you wanted to just help a lot of people? Well, you could go be an elementary school teacher or a social worker. You could go volunteer down at the Boys and Girls Club or something, but then you're not making a lot of money and you're not helping your family out a lot financially. So when you consider only careers that, that pay well and also you're kind of having an impact and making a difference, like doctor or dentist, you know, you got to go to school for 10 years to be those things. Here, you got to pass an insurance test, you know, it'll take you two weeks. So it's a pretty unique opportunity in that you get yeah. to have all that stuff that's important to people without having all of that schooling. So that's pretty unique. And then to answer your second part of the question, which is here at, at ASB, what's the, the difference? That's pretty easy. We have the opportunity to offer every carrier that most people have ever heard of. And, and it's, cool that, I mean, Clay says it all the time, we never get beat at the kitchen table. And that is true. You know, when you're sitting down with somebody, it gives us the confidence that we're recommending the best thing for someone. And then that confidence trickles over to the customer knowing that, yeah, I'm getting a good product for a more than competitive, but oftentimes the best possible price. And so that's the benefit of being an independent, like, like we are here is uh, we never get beat. Yeah. I think that that kind of plays into one of the things that we talked about before. Like the number one challenge I hear from agents in the business is there's not enough leads. Do you feel that having so many carriers in your toolbox helps you get more and better referrals and leads? Yeah. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. I mean, when you sit down with somebody and you know, they're paying $280 a month for their Medicare supplement. And you sit there and say, oh, hey, by the way, if you have it through this company, uh, it's, it's 215 a month. And they are like, I mean, why wouldn't they say my neighbor across the street, uh, or, you know, my brother lives across town. And I mean, why on earth, what if they recommend you if you're able to help people in that way? And so that is an awesome feeling and it fills your schedule book and you didn't have to make, you didn't have to pick up the phone, you know? Yeah. It's the best lead by far. Yeah. You've been around for a little over a year now, since October 1st, how supportive is that Heartland team that you work with? Um, very, I, I don't know how annoying other people are to their bosses, but I, uh, 
I uh, I think that Kit Curry and, and Brandon Bowes are probably a tired of me. At least I would be if I were managing me. Oh, yes. I ask a lot of questions and I want to make sure I'm doing things right. But never once has either of those two, uh, those are kind of my go-to guys when I need help or advice. And never once have I felt like I was a burden or anything. It's a tremendous amount of support here at, at Heartland. And I couldn't ask for anything better, of course. That's awesome. So are you looking for a partner to grow your team out there? Yeah. So, so behind me, you see the, the HRG logo just beautifully scotch taped onto the walls. Yeah. The, <laughs> so we're in a temporary office space right at this moment, but in the next like three weeks from now, we'll be moving into our permanent office space in Tigard. And so once that happens, I'm going to be recruiting people to, to help us out right now. There's six of us. And I'm looking to have a team of 20 to 25 people a couple of years from now. So we're going to be looking for good people, hard workers. And yeah, that's going to be right around the corner, turning on the, the recruiting. What makes, in your opinion, a great agent? I think it's, it's really two things, two categories anyway. One is personality. You got to be a people person. You got to be good with people. What comes along with that is being a good communicator. You're sociable. You're easy to get along with. You can connect with all different types of personalities. That's all kind of being a people person. And so that's the first thing that, I, that I'm looking for in a new recruit. The second is, has to do more with sense of urgency. I mean, people who are self-disciplined, I'm not, and I never have been the micromanage type of boss. I'm not the guy who's calling you on Tuesday at 830. <laughs> hey, where are you? I want people to manage themselves. And yeah. so I'm typically looking for somebody who's self-disciplined, high sense of urgency. They have high expectations of themselves. They want to learn. They're go-getters, self-starters. So all of those things are basically the two categories that I think put somebody in the best possible position to be extremely successful really quickly in, in this industry. Wow. Okay. Lots of great comments there. I can't thank you enough for your time today. I know you're in the middle of AEP and yeah, yeah you guys are, are busy helping all the seniors out there all all around you. So thank you so much for everything that you do as an agent, as part of the team here at ASB. Thank you, Lynn. I appreciate the opportunity to talk about this stuff. It's all fun and exciting. It is. All right. You have a great day. All right. You too. Talk to you soon.